Welcome, Adores. We learned in the previous videos that worksheets are a crucial part of any field service task. In this tutorial, we will find out how to tailor your worksheet templates to your needs. Oh, that will actually be very useful to me because I need to keep track of serial numbers for the machines that I service, as well as other specific details. Is that something that custom worksheets will help me with? Absolutely. Let me show you how to set it up. So here we are in our database and we're going to go directly into the field service module. And first we will head into configuration and settings just to activate uh, one feature, the worksheet templates. I will activate it. And once it's done, um, we can head into configuration and the new uh, feature showed up, the worksheet templates. So we will go in and we see that by default, we have one uh, worksheet available. We can redesign it from here, but we can also go ahead and create a new one, which is what we're going to do. So I will call it JSON's template. And we will click on design template, which will uh, actually activate the studio module. So this is something to keep in mind as an additional application that's getting installed in the database. And now we're taken to um, our uh, playground where we can actually drag and drop uh, and customize our worksheets until we're 100% happy with the result. So Jason, you uh, said that you need to keep track of the serial numbers. We can uh, do it with a simple text box. Uh, I just drag and drop it here and change the label to serial number. But of course, there's so much more that we can do. So let's add some more uh, fields. For example, we might want to keep track of the date, of course, which is very useful for any um, on-site job. We'll just call it date. Uh, we can also add a more advanced feature. For example, we can add a selection box. Uh, let me just find it. Ah, there we go. Let's drag and drop it. And uh, this can be useful, for example, when we need the employee who's working on site to specify specify something from several options. For example, for some of the repairs, they will be fall under warranty. So we will add this as one of the options and then the other option will be out of warranty which is always good to keep track uh, since uh, obviously in a, an out of warranty case, uh, the customer is likely to pay a little bit more for our services. I will just change the label on the selection to, uh, let's say status. Uh, we can also add uh, a checkbox, for example, uh, just a simple checkbox here, uh, just asking the employee to confirm um, or maybe to confirm if the, uh, the job has been completed, in which case we'll know that no other task will be needed uh, in the near future. And to close things off, we can add, uh, for example, a signature field where we will ask the employee who has been on site uh, to just uh, finalize everything by dropping a signature just to confirm uh, that uh, he or she have confirmed that everything is uh, completed. Um, so that is it. We will now uh, save and close this template. And so now if we go to one of our tasks, let me take this one for, let take this one for example, we have the Mocha Mastermind coffee machine task. And you see um, that now we have an option to choose the worksheet template that we want to use on our task. So I will choose the one that we have just created. And immediately we see that a new smart button has shown up at the top of the screen. Let me click on it. And here we see that we have all of the details uh, that we have just configured. So we have the serial number, we can type whatever we want in the field, um, in the text field. We have the date, which is uh, just an, uh, a, a date box. We can choose the date that we did the intervention. We can type whatever comments that we want. We have our one warranty or outside of warranty uh, drop box. We have a checkbox uh, to mark when the intervention has been completed and the signature. 
that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next one.